Hello there and welcome back for another Heffy Doodle video. This is Cassie. We're just going to get right into it and talk about what we're going to be using. This is the Hot Diggity Dog stamp set along with the matching dies. Love those adorable little pups in there and uh, the dies are fantastic obviously. We're also going to be using the Hello Shadow Heffy Cuts along with the Thinking of You Shadow Heffy Cuts. We're going to be using the Stitched Stim Slimline Trio we're also going to be using the skinny circle frames. I thought we'd do the stitched ones, but we just use the frames. And we're gonna be doing something fun with those frames. Love it. We're also going to be using the swirly clouds die. I thought this would be fantastic on that card. And then we also have the cloudy skies stencil. This is a fantastic stencil. Love how you can get some great clouds with this one. We've got a couple colors of cardstock, both by Heffy Doodle. One is Banana Split, and the other is Ice Blast. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the card. I'm taking that Ice Blast cardstock, and I'm going to cut four inches off of it. That'll leave our base to be seven inches by eight and a half inches. And I'm going to take that piece that I cut off, the four inch by eight and a half inch piece, and I'm going to use the Cloud Skies stencil. I like to tape mine down with a little bit of uh, purple tape or washi tape would work fine too. And this way I can move my piece in and out of the stencil. I'll be using one of my little Pink and Main Mini Ergo brushes that I talked about the other day and I'm using it with the Clear Skies by Simon Hurley. And I'm going to move that around to the different stencil pieces that I like, just kind of checking them out, seeing which ones work well together, uh, trying to make it varied as to which clouds I actually use, and we're going to go down that entire panel. I will end up cutting off some of that because I'm going to use that slimline, the stitched trio die, but I wanted to make sure that I had good coverage across the whole thing because I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to cut from. So we'll just keep putting that into the stencil until we get all the way down to the very bottom of the cardstock. And this is a great cloud stencil because not only do you have one, two, three, four, five actual cloud um, stencil parts that you can sponge, but you can flip it over and then you have five more. And you don't typically, typically all you get would be a total of eight with any other um, cloud die. But this one, you get more than that. Our next step is to take the skinny circle frames and we're gonna run that through our die cutting machine over that banana split cardstock. We'll do it twice with three of those three and we'll also do it on some white cardstock and we'll separate the frames from the circles and then with the leftover cardstock we will cut out our swirly clouds dies. Now I had already gone ahead and stamped my little pups onto some alcohol marker cardstock and now I'm gonna do some Copic coloring. I stamped that using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink I'm starting with my C4 car, uh, Copic marker, and I'm going to go lightest to darkest, so next I will bring in my C6, trying to stay away from the edges just a little bit, and then we'll come in with our C8, and I stamped these twice, all the images I stamped twice because I plan to decorate the inside of my card as well. And then we'll work backwards, so then I'll go back to the C6, blend that out so we don't have any harsh lines, and then I'll go back and grab the C4 and do the same thing. And yes, I am coloring this one like my little pup, Lolly. So that was fun. All right, we're using the R85 for the noses, some R35 for the collars, and then we'll come in with a darker shade of some R27 just to add a little bit of dimension. And then we're also gonna do that for the ball I don't even know what you call that ball throwy thingy, <laughs> ball tosser. Um, so we'll do the same process with that for both of them. And then our tennis ball is going to use some yellow. So we'll have Y13 for our base, and then we'll come in with some Y08 as our darker shade for the tennis ball. We'll take our matching dies, line those up, and tack those down with a little bit of washi tape and run that through our die cutting machine. And then we'll have all of our pieces ready to go. So the next step would be to take the tennis balls. I cut more than I needed, uh, but I wasn't sure at this point. So I will blend on some yellow ink that I have. This is Psych by Simon Hurley. And I'm going to do that just on one of the edges of each of those small little tennis balls. We're saying tennis balls. They don't look like that yet. They look like suns or moons or whatever. But, you know, stick with me. We'll get there. And then I'm going to take the frames, and this is where we'll make our tennis ball. You could also make a baseball, so if you take the white circle and you cut it out of red, you'd have a baseball. 
Um, I don't know how if you could do a basketball because to be honest, I don't know a lot about basketballs. I've never really paid attention. Um, uh, but tennis and baseball, I can tell you. <laughs> so I will glue down part of it, wipe up my glue mess and then trim off that excess. And then I'll use that same frame, whatever's left over and I'll put it on the other side and I'm kind of doing, you know, varying it a little bit. So each tennis ball will have a little bit more white showing on one side than the other. So it'll look a little bit different. That way it just looks like they are getting thrown through the air um, just with different looks, if that makes any sense. Now that they're all done, we're going to line those up on that piece of Ice Blast cardstock. Not sure how I want to put them down yet, so we're just playing around and I've got the, the stitched Slimline Trio. The, it's not the biggest one, that one is the second biggest one, and I've just got that on there as kind of a guide and then I'll tack down my tennis balls. The reason I have that down there is because I plan to cut these out while it's on there obviously because I wanted the stitch line to be on the tennis balls as well. I didn't want those to just look like they were sitting on there. So now we'll run this through our die cutting machine, tack it down with a little bit of washi tape and run that, run, run that through and it's kind of funny because I I'm going to put some clouds on here in a little bit and they won't have the stitched line. <laughs> so it's okay. All right, I'm going to pull out my Cyron stick it, sticker maker because I want to do my sentiments and I have found that this is the easiest way for me to do them. So this is like an inch and a half Cyron sticker maker. So I'm going to run some white because that will be my shadow and then I'm going to do three pieces of black because that will be my word. So I'll run that through my little Sizzix sidekick. Nice to have this little baby on my desk for small things like this. Like I said, I'll run that through three times on the black because we're going to stack them up just so that they have a little bit of dimension to them. And we're only going to run the white through one time. So here we go. And um, there's the outline. And so all the pieces will have that sticker backing on it. And it's great because you can kind of manipulate the word a little before it actually sticks. And so that's all I'm doing is kind of lining that up, manipulating that to make sure that it's on there straight. And when all is said and done and I have all three lined up, I will take off the release paper on that final one and we'll stick it down to the shadow. Now we'll start adhering a few of the clouds on there. And this is what I was talking about. So if I had been thinking I would have done this first, so that way the stitch line would be on the clouds as well. But you know, it is what it is. It will be fine. I'm just tacking everything down with a little bit of liquid glue and it looks like we have tennis balls just through the air, which I love. I feel like this could be some little pups just heaven, right? <laughs> you know, well, I put some foam tape on the back of the little ball thrower and I put some foam tape on the back of that tiny tennis ball and also the pup. I do put him down here and thankfully he didn't stick too hard. So I was able to pull him up because I do change my mind on where I want him. Um, but here is that base. I'm scoring it at three and a half inches. So this will uh, be three and a half inches by eight and a half inches when all closed and it'll fit nicely into a business size envelope. And then we of course have to decorate the inside. So I'm gluing everything down. No dimension here. And we'll do the clouds as well. But this gives our, us an opportunity to have lots of space to write to our recipient. And I'll just trim off the excess I love having things come off the page. It just gives the illusion that there's more going on outside of the card. Little trick for you, save your outline and you can use it to line up your wording because we're going to put thinking of you in there. And that really, really helps to make sure that you have everything straight and you know, the way it's supposed to be. And I did the same thing with thinking of you, except I only ran it through one time. Obviously I don't want a bunch of dimension on the inside. So we just ran it through one time, but I ran it through my three inch sticker maker because that uh, one, my smaller one isn't quite big enough for this bigger die. So I'll have those linked down below to, if you want to check those out. And then we'll glue our card panel to our card base. And then here's where I will take my pup and I will re-adhere him. So thankfully he was not ruined and still sticky and all is well in the puppy world. But I love this. It just looks like he is in doggy heaven, playing in the tennis balls. Maybe he's dreaming. This could be his little dream. <laughs> For a final bit of embellishment, I'm going to grab some little clear saucers and I'm going to be pretty liberal putting those around. That's the beauty of Slimline is you can just 
you know, go nuts with your embellishments and have fun. You've got so much surface area to cover and believe me, I always do. All right, so that's going to finish off our card for today. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.